Hell, it's been quite a while since I've had a look at this distribution. This distro has a number 7 ranking on DistroWatch. It is independently developed and is forked from Mandriva. And of course, I'm speaking about PC Linux OS. Now, this distribution is a rolling release model that is tailored toward beginners. We're going to have a look at it right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. We are looking at the full Monty. What can I say? I am a sucker for free software. This uses the latest KDE 4.11, well known for its speed improvements and that sort of thing. And uh, let's go ahead and have a look and see how much resources this is using presently. I'm showing that it's using less than, or a little bit more than half a gig of RAM. Uh, in this. So that is not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and close this and let's take a quick look at what you're getting here. Now, uh, normally the panel is at the bottom of the screen. I repositioned it to the top and I also moved some of the widgets around uh, so that I could present this for you guys a little bit better. All right, uh, if you look, you will see there is a logout and quit option here, a trash can. Your system load viewer is here, a quick access to your calendar and your time, your USB, your volume control, your uh, clipboard contents, your network. And then, of course, you have six desktops with which to switch from. We'll have a look at that in a moment. You also have quick access to the KWrite text editor. Console is your terminal. You can use the Conqueror file manager, or my personal favorite, Dolphin. You can collapse all windows and show the desktop, and then you have two options for navigating your system. You can use this launcher here, and I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called, but it's not the default KDE launcher style. And uh, you can navigate this way, or you can use my preferred method here, classic application style menu. Now, you have six different desktops with which to do things, and they've selected a nice assortment of applications to go on each one. So we're looking at the internet desktop here, and you can choose, see, you'll see that in the full Monty, you've got Chrome, Firefox, you've got Opera for surfing the web, you've got Google Earth, you've got Kmail, and then, of course, Thunderbird for your email as well. And by rolling the mouse wheel, you can navigate around these desktops as well. You get a uh, AMSN, a Shoquak. Uh, I can't even pronounce that. Uh, Copete. You got a Camerica for your webcam. Skype, Pigeon, and of course, XChat IRC. And of course, you're going to want to use XChat IRC to interact with me. I'm on there all the time talking with you guys there, so you'll definitely want to uh, try that out sometime. All right, you also have uh, some Dropbox options. Uh, you've got downloading software, FTP software, your torrent client is included here, and then, of course, um, you get... Uh, I guess this, is, this KLM donkey is sort of like... Linux's answer to email. Personally, I don't use those kind of programs. I just use BitTorrent. And of course, uh, on all the screens, you can uh, add activities right here. Of course, it's located on the other corner of the screen. I just repositioned everything around because I like customizing things, you know? All right, and so let's look at the Office desktop. So everything you need for creating your Office documents and everything is right here, ready to rumble. You get the Abbey Word, the uh, full Libre Office suite is with this. You get Calibre for uh, managing all of your ebooks. You get an e uh, an ebook viewer, uh, Compare, KWrite, Ocular, and Scribus. And then of course uh, FreeMind, K My Money, K Notes, K Organizer, K Wallet Manager, Speed Crunch, 
Cuspatchery. Got it? <laughs> All right, in the games desktop, of course, you get a few little cool games thrown in here with this. Uh, uh, yeah. So, and most of these games I've done reviews on my channel, so check that out. Do a little search, uh, and you can see some of these games in action. But yeah, a nice little assortment of games comes preloaded with this for, uh, doing some gaming. I'm surprised I didn't see Steam in here, but maybe we'll see that in a moment. Okay, so for multimedia, everything you need for, uh, cre making your productions come to life is here. You've got, um, uh, some karaoke software here, Amarok. Uh, Audacity, I use that myself for mastering my audio. Clementine for managing your music. An FLV player. GTK Pod. KMID. Convertible. And a lot of these things, I really don't even know what they do. All right, and then, of course, Handbrake, Imagination, K3B, the best disc bur burner out there. Bar None, K9, Copy. Kadian Live even comes bundled with this, kid, so you'll definitely want to check that out. Caffeine, uh, which is an awesome uh, multimedia player. Kino for editing video as well. I mean, literally, they named it appropriately. This is the full Monty. You are getting a whole slew of software in here, and all of it is free. Most of it pretty easy to use. And then, of course, TV Time. I love that program. Great for those of you who have a USB dongle. You hook up your USB and you hook the cable up into it and watch TV on your computer, too. How cool is that? Ah! I even did a review of it at one point, I believe. VLC. And then, of course, WinFF, which is a GUI for FFmpeg. It'll allow you to uh, compress and... Uh, you know, convert video and that sort of thing. And uh, amazingly enough, uh, I use uh, FFmpeg for compressing my videos really small so that I can upload them to the Internet. This is a front end for it. Personally, I prefer the uh, terminal myself, but to each their own. All right, and then, of course, in graphics, everything you need for uh, making your 2D and 3D graphics are located here. And a number of these applications I have never tried, but... Um, that's something I may eventually look into at some point. I use Blender all the time. Uh, you get the GIMP, Image Magic, Gwenview, Inkscape, for those of you uh, making scalable vector graphics, uh, Infran View, Icon Edit. So now you can make really cool icons for your web pages. I mean, they thought of everything here. K Snapshot, Xsane. All right, you also get Darktable, Digicam. Mom loves that software. She uses it all the time to manage her photos. Uh, PhotoPrint, uh, PhotoXX, Huggin, uh, Raw Therapy. Okay, cool. And then, of course, Urban Lightscape. So, I mean, tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff here. Okay, and then, of course, you have your system things here. All right, so if you want to uh, configure your computer, all everything you need for configuring your computer is right here. Okay, uh, it looks like uh, ah, you got HTOP, which will open up a terminal, and it will uh, pretty much give you every all the same information that uh, KSysGuard did that we just showed you. So pretty cool stuff. So everything you need for uh, managing your system, uh, backing up your system, everything is located here. You even get the Yakquake drop-down drop terminal, so by activating this, now you will have a drop-down terminal. Let's press OK in here. And then pressing F12 on your keyboard will raise and lower that terminal so you can issue commands quite easily. How cool is that? Love this thing. I use it myself. All right, and uh, let's see. Is there anything else in here? Okay, so you get... All the archiving utilities you could ever need. Okay, Acetone ISO that's listed here is a great program for those of you who have ISO images that you may want to mount as a fake CD drive. Good program for that. Okay, Bombono DVD is a great DVD net, uh, program that you could consider using. And, of course, 7-Zip support is included with this as well. Okay, there's documentation here, so if you have any questions about this distribution, this is where you can go. Uh, all the text editors that you could ever need. All the uh, file tools that you could ever need. And then the thing is, there's more than one option. So if you don't like Dolphin, you know, you can use Conqueror if you want to. So, awesome stuff here. Uh, a bunch of games come preloaded with this, and I mean, there's no way I could even go into all the games that come preloaded with this. So, I mean, for 
for, for the amount of space uh, that this uh, distribution was to download, you are sure getting the mother load. So it's great for you beginners who just want to have a little taste of what's out there, try a bunch of different things, and then eventually maybe move on to something a little bit more complicated. Although you don't have to get the full Monty, you can get the smaller distributions, and there are different offerings that are on the PC Linux OS website. I just happen to like to look for full Monty versions myself. Okay, a bunch of internet tools. Again, <laughs> the mother load is included in here. Tons of office tools to uh, allow you to get your work done. Um, this uses the Synaptic Package Manager. Now, uh, this uh, is an RPM-based distro, but they have Synaptic included so that you can use that to get your packages. So that's pretty neat how they integrated that. Every sound tool you can think of is included in here. Um, every video editing application that I can think of is in here, too. So, all in all, I'm really liking this. This looks really great. Probably a little bit too much for me. I have the applications that I like to use, and, you know, I feel that this is a, a really giant software ins uh, assortment. But as you could see, just from my uh, navigating around and playing with things on here, you know, this seems pretty responsive enough. And the thing is, I have not given this virtual appliance that's running this, my full system resources. So I've given it some limited resources. I've given it two cores at 1.5 gigahertz. And this is running on uh, four gigs of RAM. So uh, this is, and this is behaving very, very well. I'm quite surprised by this. So yes, uh, I, I really like the improvements that KDE brings to the table. I mean, this is, you know, um, this is very snappy. It's very responsive. So I don't see why, uh, you know, so, I mean, this should be able to run on any computer that's at least uh, four years old, I would suspect. So if you're new to Linux and you're very curious about it and you want to give it a try, this may be a very good distribution for you to try out. I had an opportunity to bounce around on the forums today because I, I wanted to figure out, well, how do I rearrange all these uh, widgets and that sort of thing, and I found the answer very easily on the forums, and the uh, community seems friendly enough, so this would probably be a good option. So all in all, to the PC Linux OS team, you did an excellent job here. It looks like you've got a nice distribution on your hands, and so a uh, hearty thumbs up. And uh, so if you've given this a try and you like it, please be sure to log in to cupoflinux.com and visit me in my chat room that is hash or the pound symbol spatry or visit me on my forum and be sure to let me know what you think of it and uh, i'll be happy to uh read your comments and who knows uh if you catch me on irc we can even discuss it so good stuff indeed and as a reminder please consider supporting the show hosts that are bringing you the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or shouting them some coffee Peace out.